Okay, this is the Canal Drive house. I'm gonna get the neighborhood. Live oak tree. Trying to go slow, Larry. That's an airplane flying above. Going into the carport. There's the outside storage area. probably 15 feet in here if that's a 12 foot ladder hot water heater I'm gonna turn around so that you can see the whole carport those are the stairs going up to the top level but while I'm down here, I'm going to go ahead and go in the bottom level. There's a bench out here, so you can see that. Going into the bottom level. I have a TV viewing office area. This is the LVT floor. That is a sofa. It's a shorter one. I just, for scale, it's not a love seat. It's a sofa. Hooks for hanging things, a place for, for um, shoes. There is room for a refrigerator under the stairs and they're using it for more storage. I'm just gonna walk to the end of the stairs then I'm gonna go out and get the, the backyard for you. But I wanna get the view looking up to the top level. They painted the stairs. That's the door going into the main level. But let me walk out here and get the backyard. Oh, let me get this storage area while I'm down here. So open the barn door. Turn the light on for you. There's a lot of storage area down here. There's hanging clothes. I'd say that's five to six feet of hanging space with a shelf above. The back, uh, is outfitted with shelves. The other side is outfitted with shelves. There's even a shelf up above. And it's full, but it is an ample storage area. I turn that light off. Now I'm gonna go out to the back deck. This is where we had the outside shower and the powder room. Steps look new. This is the powder room. So there is a sink and a toilet, mirror. That's a concrete floor. There's the HVAC in it. It appears to be in very good shape. It's the outside shower. There's a dressing area. And then the outside shower itself and a far wall. Let me turn around and get an overview of this decking area. They have a porch swing and a hammock, and then a seating area. That's a, somebody's mowing their grass. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's the neighbor. Okay, they, this is the side yard. View out the front. Also, there's a, uh, looks like a cat door or a dog door coming at right there, coming out of that closet area in the downstairs. I'm going back into the house. Here's an overview of the downstairs room.
going upstairs. This is the great room. They have a pretty nice sectional in here. Storage and shelves. This is the laminate countertop. Fireplace. There's the main entry door. And I'll also get that from the other side. Dining area and kitchen. And then looking down the hallway from here. Oops, it would help if I closed the door. Let me close that for you. So this is what the hallway looks like. Let me back up. I'm gonna get an overview of this and a close-up of the appliances. So there's the kitchen. Great storage in the island area and an overview of the room. While I'm here, I'm gonna open the front door and show you what it looks like walking in from the top level entrance. Here's the porch. The view from the porch. There's the gate so that you can keep your dog in. They have two chairs out here. And then walking into the house, this is the view from the entrance. Trying not to make you sick, Larry. Let me get a close up of the appliances. Dishwasher, range, microwave, refrigerator, and there is a pantry over on the side. Pantry. And they have uh, storage on the door as well. It's a small closet for your coats, vacuum cleaner. Walking down the hallway, there are three bedrooms and two bathrooms. This is the first bedroom. It's the twin room. Nice big window, smaller closet. The same laminate flooring is throughout the whole top level. This is the first bathroom. This is a shared bath for the first two bedrooms that we're going to see. Let me put the light on for you. This is a molded tub and shower. There's the cabinetry. This is the second bedroom that would share that bath. This is a queen size bed. There are windows on two sides of the room, so lots of good natural light. I'm going to back up, try to get into the corner so that you can see the overview. There's the bed, the entrance door, and then there's a closet. So it's a really nice size closet in this room. Then going into the master. King size bed, nightstands in front of each window. There are, there's windows on two sides of the room and then the door on a third side. So you have good natural light in here as well. They have a nice size dresser and even more storage. I'm gonna walk to the other side of the room so that you can see the overview from that end. There is a pretty big closet in here. This is the one that had the L-shaped shelving. So uh, straight across the back, as well as hanging room on the side. And uh, they've got totes in here and laundry baskets. So you can see it's 
actually a pretty nicely um, white, nice and wide shell, or shell, her nice and wide closet. And let me go into the bathroom for you. There is the window in here, double sinks, same tile as in the other bathroom. Window. This is a shower stall. And this would be uh, very easy to take out and replace with tile if you wanted to put in a tiled shower like you liked in the other home. I know some people who can do that too. And then you've got storage in here as well as on the door. And try to get an overview. Walking back out into the room. Now I'm gonna go out to the back deck so that you can see the wall that's behind the Publix and I'll also show you the uh, the view because you can see the back of the Lowe's store as well. So there's the church on the corner with the water tower. You can see the church steeple and there's a cell phone tower as well. So definitely good reception here. That's the back of Publix and that building is Lowe's. You can see where the wall is and there were the two rows of uh, bushes back here. There's, they are, looks like holly intermixed with Russian olives. And then the overview that you see of the neighbor's yard. He's still mowing his grass. There is a bench here. Let me get the bench for you. This door also has the built-in blind, which is nice. And the whole house has the upgraded faux wood blinds instead of the um, mini blinds, which is nicer. And the whole house has the uh, upgraded woodwork. As you can see, this is the ledge is where they had the uh, black cat collection, uh, but the woodwork is, is there throughout the house. And the baseboards are taller here as well. It's a more modern look than um, some other houses have. And there's the laminate so that you can see that. And then the overview. Oh, I didn't get you the washer and dryer in the video. Here's the washer and dryer. And there is a lot of storage in this closet as well. Up above. Oh, and then an attic. You do have an attic access in the hallway. I don't know how much storage is up there. Um, if you move forward with this house, uh, the home inspector will look up there. So I'm gonna turn around slowly, get a final view of this room again, and then I'm gonna walk out into the great room. And I think we're back where we started. Thanks.